right, so I'm going to go over to coin market cap and look what the price of Bitcoin is. It is currently up 4.05% and the price is $15,897.76. That's up 11.81% this week alone. It apparently had touched $16,000. Uh, any comment, Max, on the price action? Well, yeah, I mean, recently it, it kind of dipped below 14,000, you know, uh, to see if any any um, sell stops were triggered and no sell stops really were triggered. So uh, it popped over uh, again and uh, now it's uh, testing a higher, higher, uh, higher prices. So as I've been saying, there's not a lot of supply between this price and 20,000. And so I just think we're going to see 20,000 in the near term, which would be a new all time high. That brings in a wave of media exposure and that will give it a pop up to 28,000 probably in, in pretty short order or where you might see a pause. But, um, you know, it's just um, it's just stepping up. You know, the way these markets work, you've got market makers. Right. And they're trying to build their inventory all the time. So. In order to get some cheap inventory, sometimes they'll take the price down a bit to see if anyone it triggers a sell stop. This would be somebody who's put a, a, an order to sell automatically at a certain price. And they'll find if there's any sell stops down there, they'll try to trigger them and take that in as inventory. Hmm. And um, so they did that and th th nothing really materialized. There's nobody really selling. So then they're like, OK, then we got to take it the other way. We're going to take it higher. And that's that's where they're doing now. Right. Oh, uh, that's interesting. And um you know, 16,000 is a good price. Of course, at uh, 20,000, as we've heard from many people in the, you know, the whole Bitcoin space behind the scenes, the, the liquidity providers and stuff, there's a huge amount of, of buy orders up at 20,000 because I know it sounds very counterintuitive and it's hard to get your head around, but there are more buyers at 20,000 already waiting for it. And they, you know, those are the institutional investors and pension sort of money that can't really get in at 10,000 because of the size of the market cap and things like that. They need it uh, up above 20,000 until they could start buying. Well, it's mostly about momentum traders. So a lot of traders, hedge fund traders are trying to uh, make hard, 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 uh, high gains in a concentrated period of time. Mm -hmm. So if you can make a, a trade from 20,000, 28,000 in two weeks, you know, that's a great percentage move, you know, annualizing that move. You're saying, well, I'm, I'm doing fantastically well. So typically this type of situation, things that make new highs go on to make new highs because there's no resistance above that old high. So there's there's a vacuum of, of there's no nobody has ever owned it at that price. So there's no sellers. There's just a vacuum until they and, and then, um, then there's the momentum of having gotten to the new high. Then there's the whole media cycle of we're at a new high. All these things converge and suddenly you go from 20,000 to 28,000 pretty quickly. And, um, I think at that point there might be a, a bit of a pause, but I don't, I don't see anything, but I don't see any selling between now and then. 